everyone welcome to this channel and in this video i'm going to show you on how to create a file dialog box used for importing an excel file if you are interested please watch this video until the end and please to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed let us create a new one let's type access and blank database and then the file name is okay and let us create a form design Okay, that one. And let's add some design. Okay, the format yes and this one no no neither auto center yes okay that's it and in the color let's choose this one okay and color Let's try. Okay, this one. So let's start the coding, guys. Click event on click. Okay, choose code builder. And first thing to do, guys, is to make sure that we have checked the Microsoft Office object library. We have to put a note first. Application needs Okay So This one guys Tools Reference And then Let us find the Microsoft Office Object Library This one this is Microsoft Access Object We have to find the Microsoft Office So letter M Microsoft Office This one Microsoft Office Object Library So click OK And let us start the coding Dim If D As or alias File Dialog And then Set If D Equals Application that file dialog so ms or this one we'll choose this one file dialog file picker and then and close parenthesis next with if the so since we put with before i forget let's put and with okay And with so allow multi select, so we have to put that allow multi select equals false. 
Hit spot. Okay. And then we have to put also a title. The title calls select only one file. And then also next um, during filtering or files so, shows set of extension file for Excel in the file only so that filters that clear okay and then that filters that add calls so we'll put excel file and the extension we'll put xls xls and also we'll put that one um that xl sx this one that one only so next if sh that show then what will happen for h b tr select item in that me that so what's the name of this so we'll put this file path okay so we'll put me that file fat equals b or okay and then next so else meaning to say if we have not uh, or we have cancelled the dialog box so there's an error And after that, after the cancellation, we have to clear this. So, me that file path equals, get this one, nothing. And if, and then after that, set if the calls nothing. Okay. So let's try. When we check or when we click this one, okay. So let us check our code. Multi multi select equals false. So only one file will be selected even when we uh, press the shift only one 
so this is good false and then title select only one file so press the title select only one file and then next our filtering excel file this one excel file and then the file extension xls and then the xlsx this one and then if we cancel if we click this one cancel the error will be no file selected so let us try to cancel so canceled no file selected canceled canceled and then information information okay so now let us try to um, open a file one user account okay so now let us try to import this excel and then code builder okay so do cmd transfer spreadsheet this one transfer spreadsheet and then ac this one import because we will be importing a data from excel and then skip and then table name the table name would be user account okay and then the file name the file name is this one so file path so we have to put me that file path okay and then has spelled names of course we need to have a failed name so we will put true and that's it let's try form view so this is the file name and when we click import here we go let us check user account when we open this so this is the data again click import and then refresh okay the data again so pretty simple if you have some question guys you know what to do just comment it down below that's all thank you and see you to my next video